your dance, so come and do your dance. Oh, eh, oh, let me see your hands, let me see your hands. Oh, eh, oh, dance until you lose your last breath. Oh, eh, oh, come on, come on, this that low so step now. Left, left, right. YouTube, what is up? Back again, Team Loso. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day, night, whenever you're watching this. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Give it a little squishy squish on the like button. If you enjoy my videos and you want more, leave comments down low below and we'll get that popping. I'm with my homie X. Dot X on Instagram. Follow him, a dope artist, man. He's very, very creative when he comes to my mind, and he's a very good friend of mine. But I called him. I said, Burr. "Hey yo, hey yo, B, like, that was good, son. Hey yo, like, I need you to get your top five sneakers versus my top five sneakers. You feel me? Yeah, son, I got you. Yeah. What, what time? So I was like, yo, we finna record right now. Let's get it." So, we're here right now with our first episode of Sneaker Wars. It's going to be crazy. So, we chose five sneakers, not the most hype, but our five favorite it, it, it's, if that counts. We have more than like 20 pairs. We got like 20, 20 something. We have, yeah, we have a lot of pairs of a lot of sneakers, sneakers. Not Jordans just necessarily, but a whole all bunch of brands, sneakers. All brands, all type of different brands. So. We, we don't discriminate at us. Yeah, we all up in it, man. So... This is what we're going to do. We're going to show you from five all the way to one, starting with round one. I need you guys to comment after every round. Who do you think won? Pause the video, give a deep thought, and then get back to it. So, without further ado... So, um, just so you guys know, we went off what we like and um, how many... Well, I picked it. Be, uh, based on how many times I wear the sneakers, so we're gonna uh, go with the Vans, the local casual. Vans, the OG, um, old school. So this is just a shoe that you can toss on all the time, and you know, believe it or not, I do break necks because of Velcro. And um, ooh, did you hear that? The mm -hmm. Did you hear? Ooh. ooh. So yeah, man, this is the this is my number five, and um, so I'm gonna go with. So you went with like a. This is a shoe I toss just to, on all the just time. To toss, is, so you did a toss It's on. nothing special, you know, you put it on every single day Ooh. and you cool, you go to, go out to the ball, do what you have to do and um, you're still comfortable and you're still stylish, so you feel me? In that case, you can't go wrong with an all black shoe. Yeah, you know what this is, the Japanese NMDs. Now this is an all black black shoe with this net up here, man, that just feels like your, your foot is just I believe I can fly. I believe I can. Bam! So, now, the, di the, the, the difference between mine and your shoes, mine has a little bit different height, but it's not about the height. See, this is a height. Nah, this is nah. Height. Listen, the reason. This is a height. I went off what I But I would, I would toss this on all the time. The reason being is because its shoe is just. It's just an all black shoe. Like, literally, you can wear anything with this these pairs of shoes. So, you know, round five goes to just what I you can rock. Yeah, just toss, just toss on. on what you can rock all the time. All right. So you want to make categories? We can do a little categories. Each round. So number five is just kind of toss on. All right. Toss on. Little out the house. Even though it got a little hype on it. All right. So number four. Uh, what's number four wait, be? wait. Wait. Before we go to number four. I realized that, that, that our shoes have something unique, but they have something different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So you have a white bottom, and I have a black. But mine's is foam. So my question is, oh, it's I've seen this the uh, black boost. Yeah. So it's I, I feel like it's it's hard for uh like our shoes to get clean. Like I feel like if mine's were to get ripped, then it would be mm. it would be done. But yours probably more durable. Like yours lasts longer. But to be honest, see, I like I like to be up Vans. I feel with Vans and um like Air Jordan One stuff like that sneakers like that. The more you beat them up, the more like it looks good. It just looked more OG in my opinion. All right. What you got, B? 
So my number uh, oh, four. Oh, the Nike Prestos. The Prestos. These Prestos are so comfortable. If you see they have a super fat midsole. Give me that um, butt. That's that fat fat. And um, this is just like a sock on your foot. And I toss this on and I'm in heaven. This, this sneaker is like, it has a meaning to me because I bought it the last time I was in New York on my um, 22nd birthday. Ooh. You know, it was snowing and stuff, so I had to get that comfortable feeling. And um, this is my number four. I, what category would this be? We'll go four. Um, um, it's still comfortable. Well, since we're still uncomfortable, I, I feel like that's more a high class comfortable. So I'm going to go high class comfortable too with the Madagascars. Bye. Alright, so Damn, yes, I know, I know what you guys are thinking. It's probably hype. This man got all these hype shoes. No, 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 no. Like, when I copped these, I said, I'm going to get these. And these were the restock ones. I wanted the restock ones. So, definitely comfortable, I swear. Um, these are probably more comfortable, I'm agree. Because you have this all covering yourself and you have the cage as well. Even though the cage, I have a question for all the sneakerheads that are watching this right now. I want to know, who released the cage first? Was it the Prestos or was it the Ultra Boost from Adidas? Because the cage is, is a very important role in these little fly net shoes, these little mesh shoes. But back to the, to the Madagascar. These are the Zebra Yeezys. Um, it's really the boost. I wear all my shoes, so it's yellow. I dance in all of them, so don't don't feel like, dang, he don't know how to take care of sneakers. But I think this category goes more to like a high-class, comfortable shoe. Like, yeah. these are both turning heads either way with that lime green colorway, and these Yeezys are just out of... Now, don't get it twisted. I'm pretty sure you can still go on Nike and buy this sneaker. If you go on Adidas, you are not buying this, especially, <laughs> especially um, the price you want. You might have to go on Flight Club, um... Stock X, Stock X, Go, all that. But um, yeah, so definitely a high class sneaker. The boost, yo, the boost is bo super balancing. It's super squishy though. It makes your feet so good. Well, that was round two. That was sneaker number four. We're on our way to sneaker number three now. Let's Fire! Go. Dang! Alright, so I'm rocking off the gate, man. We got the Adidas, we got the uh, Adidas ZX Flux. I love now, this. Now this is this colorway specifically is you called think, a Zeno. You think they can see that? I'm not sure. Um, you every see. time you take a picture with the flash or have um, light Shh. hitting hitting the shoe, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like a rainbow Shh. feel to it, but I'm pretty sure um, I might you might not be able to see it. But this sneaker is definitely a sleeper. Like I put this on my list um, because. I like it, you know, when I bought this sneaker, I, I was like, whoa, they have this in the mall? So I was kind of confused because yeah. I knew about the sneaker, a but I didn't know like too much about it. A lot of people slept on this sneaker and this is, believe it or not, this is actually comfortable too. It does not have boost in it at all. I think this was before like the uh, boost phase, but this is the Adidas and this is a ZX Flux, so this is my number. All right, so you went, honestly, I'm kind of upset. I, I didn't grab these. So I see you went to like shoes that turn heads that grab grab your attention that, yeah, lot, this is definitely a that a lot of people don't have. So my number three is gonna be a little fire. It's gonna be a little hot. You know what I'm saying? This shoe got a little rage inside of it. You know what I'm saying? Gotta take it out nicely. Whoop I am. Yes, you already know Raging Bull 5. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm too hyped. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to do that. Oh god. Alright, so Raging Bull Fires man are my number three shoe. Now I chose these to go against those, man, because just like the flexes, man, and especially this 3M colorway, it shines, it pops every time you take a photo. With these, this has 3M on the tongue, so when you take a photo, this is gonna glow as well. This shoe right here, um, for a lot of sneakerheads who has the who have these pair, realize that when they dropped the all red suede, that they were a little upset that they wanted, you know, kind of salty. Yeah, they they were a little upset because I was a little upset because a lot of people were claiming to rock those as these, but um, yeah, man, I've had this when the pack came out. These are old. I try to take them in condition, but I'd be beating them up. I'd be beating my shoes up, but. My number three, man, Raging Bull Fives. You two, you two, let's be honest. Which one can you toss in your feet more? Be honest. 
Where the snap the category? Them bloody <laughs> shoes? <laughs> them bloody this shoes? Or them snake skins, you feel me? I call these the black mambas, even though he's with Nike. I call these the what? The awesome period. The bloody shoes. <laughs> Alright, so that's our sneaker number three, man. That is my dog show. That is my dog. That is my dog show. Round number four with sneaker number two. Dang, already off the bat? My number two. This is my one pair of Yeezy uh, shoes. And I know what you're saying. Oh, these just came out. They're so um, highly produced, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I like it because I like it, and this is my, like I said, this is my very first Yeezy, so like it has, it has that uh, meaning to me, you know, I, um, I worked for these sneakers, I worked hard, and when I was able to buy it, yeah, my boy got like five I, jobs, and he's I like, bro, like, I just got some Yeezys, I was like, hey, let me see, he so said, you know, yes, Dang. these are the Beluga 2.0s, and, um, and you can't really say too much about Yeezys, I mean, they're special, but they're kind of like, You've seen them, you know. Heartbeats. So yeah, man, that's my number two. We're gonna go with the Blue Good 2.0s. All right, all right, all right, all right. So you went with your, with your Yeezys. I went with a little snake. My, my, my shoe's gonna be slithering through round number. You know what I'm saying? You're not ready. Check this out. Bam! Ugh. Snake skin lows, man. Loving lows. These are, these are a... If you see these, bro, these are definitely going to turn heads. The reason being is because it has official snakeskin on the shoe. It is an 11. People love 11s. And I beat these up because I danced in them all the time that I got them. I had these when they 2014 they dropped out. 2014. Yeah. Yo, let me tell you a story about these. Shout out to you, my homie, John John. So when these were, when, when these were originally, originally released... They didn't do first come. I mean, they didn't do raffle. Did they first come? Hell, like camp out. Yeah. So you had to sleep outside, basically a whole bunch of stuff. So me and my like four friends, John John was there too. We we got there at four o'clock in the morning, hot, hid in the bushes. We we did everything. Mulch on our shirt. It was pink after we got done, and we bad. and we ended up copping two pairs of these, man. So I was able I was able to grab one, man. And this is a very dope shoe. This is my number two, just just because. I feel like this is um, you can pop it out, and too many people. Yeah, not a lot of people don't have it. A lot of people don't have this, man. It's just number two reason being is it's just the story behind it, man, and not this yeah. is just a very unique shoe, man. So definitely, I'm not having worn them recently. I gotta unice these, man, because I've been beating these up. But number two, man, definitely, definitely. We're getting a little closer to the hype, man. Is 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 dope. I just like the concept of both shoes. You know, you can't go wrong with Yeezys, and you can't go wrong with Love and Lows. So, this is the last and final round. Sneaker number one. Oh my God! Round number five. Who do you got? Pull it out. What do you have? Number one has a very special place in my heart. We're gonna go with the OG Ooh. Nike Cement Force. Now look man, this is my favorite sneaker of all time. Ooh gee. And this colorway specifically because it's just <laughs> you feel me. <laughs> now when we uh, look at the now. when we look at the boot we man. got the Nike. Ooh. I like um big in the camera. Now when I got this sneaker I had a lot of things going on in my life. So that's another reason why it has a special place in my heart. So it was like, you know, when you get that new sneaker and you have a lot of stuff going on in your life, it's just like a new woman in your life. Like, ooh, mommy, who is you? <laughs> so, yes, oh. man, this is my very sneaker of all time. This is my number one. This will always be my number one. We're rocking with the OG Nike Cement Force, baby. Yeah. I don't know if you guys knew, but uh, if you guys are not familiar with this shoe was originally released in, in Hollywood, like on movies-wise... Do the right thing, Spike Lee joint. Yo! But uh, number one, man, I personally am so upset that I didn't get these. I should have got these, but uh, just like your number one, man. Oh, somebody texted me. Well, just like your number one, man, my number one has a special. Special place in my heart. Bam! You already know. Eleven's are my favorite silhouette of shoes, man. Shout out to Jordan for just Tinker Hatfield. So the stories behind Eleven is Jordan came back. 
um, from retirement and Tinker created the Concords. Now, Jordan was not supposed to wear the shoes at all, the Concords, and he got fined, I think $5,000, I believe. And um, that's how the Breads was originally released. But he didn't care. He fell in love with the shoe and 11s. I love 11s, and most of my collections are 11. These are the Pantone 11s that released Christmas 20... Do I have the date here? I can't tell you exactly. 15, 16? It says 14, I believe. Wow. I don't know. This was... It was long when it dropped with the... Was it 25s? Ah, oh, man. The package is... Oh, yeah. The, um, it was like a Christmas package. It was a Christmas in a big box. Anyways, so I love this shoe so much, man. Um, I beat this shoe up. I danced in my first, like, world big concert dancing with all these celebrities man it was awesome so this is a, another number one shoe that i just love truly um i'm not gonna lie it's clean but you feel me <laughs> now nah, these are our number ones and uh we truly we truly truly like we wear our sneakers man and i know some people keep on death stock at all times but i like dancing so i like keeping heat on my feet um without further ado that was round number five. Sneaker number one. I want to know in the comments. You guys tell us what you think. Exactly. Down below, tell us exactly what you mean. What do you need? What type of sneaker? Should we do a part two? We have more sneakers to come. Should we do a part two? Pick Comment. up logs. Just let us know, man. Um. So I'm going to have a John John's Instagram down low. So, uh, x.mufasa.x, but it will be below. Yeah, so without further ado, guys, give a like button. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to the channel. Comment below who won each round. And see you guys next time on Sneaker War. Wait.